Welcome to Growing Your Own Food in Your Own Backyard. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the like button. I am really excited about my new lemony lace elderberry shrub. I shopped high and low for this particular shrub. Why this particular shrub? Because this is the only type of elderberry shrub that was not going to be too evasive for the small space that I wanted to put my shrub. It is hardy from zone four to seven. Its height is three to five feet tall. So the shrub can get right about this high and it spreads three to five feet wide. So this is a perfect shrub for this space. And the light requirement is part sun to part shade. So again, this is a perfect environment for it. This elderberry is a proven winter. It's low maintenance shrub that produces great color from spring to fall. And the light foliage really stands out to most landscaping. The new leaves that grow start out red and eventually turn golden green. It does get snow, uh, showy, uh, showy white flowers in spring to early summer. The, um, the, the actual berries are bright red and sweet. So I bought this shrub about a week ago and I wanted it to get acclimated to the environment that I'm a planet in. So I dug a hole and I set the shrub in the hole for a whole week until I felt that it was um, acclimated. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the shrub out of the hole. And as you can see, I've dug the hole. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and just put a little of my, comp now this compost here, this is my compost, compost, excuse me, from last year and it's aged. So I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle a little compost at the bottom like that. And just spread it out like this. And then I'm gonna go ahead and remove this tree or shrub. And set it down like that. So I made sure there were quite a bit of preparation for the shrub. So again, it's a proven winner. This is how the shrub looks when it's mature. So I'm really excited about this selection of my elderberry shrub. Again, lemony lace elderberry shrub. When I bought this elderberry shrub, I went on ahead and got insurance on the shrub. So if the shrub dies or I have any issues with the shrub, at least I have guarantee for at least two years. But I'm gonna believe that because the shrub is hardy, that is going to do well. So now that I have acclimated it for a week, I got the, the hole was pre-dug and I've already put a layer of compost on it, I'm gonna go ahead and backfill it with dirt. And I'm also going to add my compost to it as well. I want to make sure that it's well compacted to make sure there's no oxygen, um, any, any whole, um, make sure that I get all of the um, air pockets out of the soil. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, now that I have it planted, I want to give it a good watering. Okay, I've given it a really good watering, so I'm just going to let the water just settle in the soil and see how much the soil has compacted down after watering. After I water, um, after it has been compacted down, then I'm going to add the wood chips back on there. So I had wood chips along this bed here for a while. So I'll let the water sink, saturate into the soil and try to determine how much more compacting I need to put around the tree. And then once I get through with that, I'll go ahead and add the wood chips back. These wood chips are at least two years old. And this is what I had covering the bed. So a lot of the wood chips have also uh, broke down along this bed. So I just wanted to quickly share with you the elderberry shrub that I am planting and again I want to just share with you that um, the lemon again the um, the plant um, elderberry is winter hardy and summer summer tolerant and the growing zones again is from 3a all the way to 7b so you can see that this plant is very versatile it stays short and it's perfect as a border plant so you can see i have this along the border um, which are perfect place along the edge of a garden bed or path um, again i did my research and was trying to look for the right type of elderberry plant for my zone five uh, B zone and it's perfect for the environment that I planted it in and so I'm really excited that hopefully in the next year or two I'll be able to have elderberry fruits that I can utilize uh, for um, medicinary purposes as well as uh, juicing and making pies. I wanted to share this with you so anyone who is looking at increasing their um, food garden or their food forests and want more fruit trees or fruit shrubs, elderberry is the best way to go. Thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the like button.